because some of this will probably end up going on YouTube at some point. At the very least, the stream will. If not, the uh, like if I don't end up chopping it up or whatever, at least have a backup for people to watch there. And uh, oh, one more thing, I do plan at some point releasing a list of all of the games that I that I own that I stream, whether I finish them or not. Um, as well as like with links to all the videos and things just to make it a little bit easier for people to, to find like their favorite game or whatever if they want to see it. I already have a list made up for personal use, um, but I don't know if I want to share that one or if I want to have a separate one for everybody else. So that's the only reason why I don't already have it up. But if you follow the, the link there and if and the, uh, the little bot command, the exclamation point ps2 it lists all of the games that i currently own for ps2 at least um as well as like i mentioned earlier just having a little bit more info on what the ps2 gauntlet is um the name could change by the way that's like i, I couldn't really come up with anything at first i was just gonna call it like collecting and trying ps2 games but then i was like you know what that doesn't sound like a very good name so <laughs> it's just a little bit too long so uh, I decided to try the uh, to, to, to go with Gauntlet there because it's going to be a bit of a challenge, I figured. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I mean, everything looks fine here. Don't think we need to change any settings or anything. Let's just play the game. Let's get into it. See what it's about. I do know it's like a, a side-scrolling shooter or something like that with the, the cartoony art style here, of course. Um, looks like I'm getting tutorials here. Okay. Square shoot, dodge with the other buttons, move with the move buttons, gotcha. You can charge shots up, so Mega Man, okay. Jump with X, gotcha. Oh, I can skip, cool. We'll figure it out as we play, it's fun. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, right? Oops, nice little animations here. This is so 2000s, man. Just having flashbacks to browsing websites that I shouldn't have been on in school. Level 1-1. One, one. It's the best place to start, in my experience. Maybe. The game ever loads. Good old disk space media, man. Hey! Okay. So we crash landed. There's a dude eating some ice cream from, what was that, Fatty Blob? And we're being taken away by the FBI. And apparently they kill aliens, so I don't think that's somewhere we want to go. Should probably try to stay away from the FBI. Oh, they didn't find me though. Okay, first impressions. The jump feels a little floaty. Like, I would not expect to be jumping that high and it just feels a little slow. But that's alright, I'm sure we'll get used to that. Massive charge shot there. Okay, that feels nice. The L and R button don't seem to do anything. Is he sh Oh. Okay. Was that like a power-up or something? Okay, I seem to be getting different elements? I don't know what's going on! Oh, well, I lost it. Whatever it was, so... But I still seem to be shooting like ice. Or something. Am I supposed to be like... I have no... Oh, well. Okay. Well, we died. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. So all the little all the little orbs seem to be different... Different types of shots, basically. Different power-ups. And we can also drive around in vehicles. The vehicles can run stuff over, but not the giant FBI van. That makes sense. This is a lot faster pace than I was expecting. Uh, we can't shoot diagonally. That's important to know. Okay. I guess we're at our fake, fake boss. First boss. Oh, okay. So that's not a number of hits up there. That's a number of lives. Okay. Oh. Good. We're gonna we're gonna die at the first boss. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're. <laughs> God. Oh, no. This is so bad. I'm bad gamer. Okay. We got... We got this. It's all good. It's, it's fine. It's fine. 
Okay, it's it's arcadey. It's fine. We can die as much as we want because we can just put an infinite coins in. So, so everything's okay. Ah, can you go down through platforms? I wonder. You can. Okay, I should have known that. Can you dodge roll through attacks? This is important information. I don't know. I need to figure this out. Oh wait, do we have a limited number of coins? I saw like a, a little number pop up there. Also, I feel like I should just be, I was trying to do like too many charge shots. I feel like I should just be uh, just firing away. Yeah, I almost feel like that does... Wow. <laughs> I'm so mad at this first boss, man. This is terrible. Not the game, just me. Like, I'm sure the game is fine. It's alright, we got this. It's, it's fine. It's fine. We're learning. It's a learning experience. I feel you remember when I was first introduced to proxy sites. Go to Flash Games sites in school. Yeah, man. Beautiful times. Beautiful times. And then I don't know about at your school, but at our school, the uh, they eventually wisened up to the fact that proxy sites were a thing. And so they started banning those, too. So it was like a never-ending race of, you know, us finding new proxy sites that the school didn't know about yet. And then just constantly going back and forth. Oh, did I... Can... Yeah, the hearts on the top left are, like, your, your lives. But then you can respawn. Um, and it seems like you have a certain number of coins, though. Like, they try to make it arcadey almost. Can you duck? You can. I don't know if it actually makes you shorter. I think it does. I'm definitely going to game over very soon. That is going to happen. Just have to accept that. I bet you this game would be fun in two-player. It's kind of like a, uh, like a, like a brawler, right? Like a side-scrolling brawler. But with, uh... Uh, guns. <laughs> oh, well, we got burned to a crisp. I'm, like, having to actually concentrate a little bit here. For the first level of the game, it is surprisingly difficult. Okay, we got a power-up at least. Some lasers that slice people in half. Nice. But I took a hit because I'm terrible. What's a... Uh... Okay, pause, pauses, select, does nothing, it seems like. <laughs> so I'm guessing there's going to be a vehicle soon or something that I'm going to run into. Because, I mean, why would they give me a vehicle and just run through everybody? That's... Yep. Uh, do I have to shoot the eye? I'm guessing I have to shoot the eye. That's annoying. Okay, so charge shot it is. Oh, you, you're that other dude, but... But beefy. Oh, no. Okay, well, he's a lot easier than that first boss. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that first boss. Shouldn't have said that, though. I'm probably just going to get destroyed now. I feel like the charge shot... It takes longer to do damage than just, like, spamming. I don't know. Maybe it's worth it with this guy, though, because I can't really, like, hit him that easily. Yeah, your school did the same. And then, yeah, I see the little grenade icon up top there, but I'm not sure. Like, I, I think I've... Oh, no, okay, there's a circle. Circle does grenades. If, see, if I had watched the uh, tutorial, I probably would have known that. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, can I jump up here? Oh, well, that was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, but it, when you respawn, you get all of your grenades back, too. Interesting. So I feel like, I don't know if this game has a speedrun community at all, but I feel like that'd be a strat, would be to, to intentionally take damage to regain grenades and things. He looks angry all of a sudden. Okay, 
Okay, he's flying. Oh, do I have to like shoot up? He crashed on me, got it. Oh wait, does, oh, okay, no, it just knocked me over. I thought just being on the ground damaged me there. Yeah, it just, uh, just stuns me for a second. Okay, well, somebody hit me, though. It's alright. This is just my last life. That's all. It's fine. Just, just bullet hell. Just spam. Just spam and he'll die, right? I think we, I think we did it. Floor is lava. No! Can I pick up the eyeball? <laughs> no, I don't think I can. So is that the end of the first level? I think we did it. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. I was fully expecting the game over. Harder than I expected. I Some of the controls are a little iffy. Like I said, the, the jump is very floaty. And uh, the dodge roll, I feel like it needs a couple iframes associated with it like whenever you're first getting up and whatnot but maybe as i get more used to it it won't be as uh, much of an issue for me see if we can beat the second level without game over <laughs> hardly made it through the first we got this though Just gotta believe man what other games uh, are you excited to see nate you you mentioned dark cloud of course but Okay. Well, that was not very nice. Do I have to, like, shoot you? Or just... Okay, it looks like I'm just on a mission to survive right now. But I can... I can go in the vehicles, too? Can I get on your vehicle? I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Because <laughs> I just... Stand here and continuously murder the guys that are coming out. Okay, don't touch the ground. The floor is now lava, basically. Ooh, I like this confetti power up. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. Am I supposed to be moving forward? I think, I okay, that makes more sense. It's very. I like all of the, the effects, all of the uh, particles and whatnot. It looks nice. The PS2 needed more... Oh, man. This is a bad game for stream because I actually need to pay attention. <laughs> um, the PS2 needed more, more 2D games, I feel like, because they actually did a good job with it. I can't shoot him, it doesn't seem like. Oh man, I'm gonna end up dying here because I have no idea what to do. Oh, if I shoot down, did that hit him? I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> Game over. Okay, yeah. So so if you run out of coins, it's GG. <laughs> Dark Cloud, any of the Jack and Dex or Sly Cooper was great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those are... Dark Cloud's one, like I mentioned when we were talking about it earlier, that... uh I didn't really have like experience with, um, but I was interested in at least. And then Sly Cooper was I, my first PS2 game to the best of my memory. And then uh, Jack and Daxter are just great games as well, as well as a uh, Ratchet and Clank right up there for me too. Um, yeah, definitely plan on playing all of those. Oh, there's mini games? I'm gonna check that out real quick. PDA games. I feel like this would be a pretty decent party game though, like just you and a, a buddy or whatever, just where you can edit the levels, that's pretty sick. I'm not gonna mess around with that right now, but how do you uh if I hold triangle it does that. I don't know what that is, but 
Okay, water is death. I should have guessed that. Can I just jump on them without pressing the square button? Yeah. So I don't know what the point of the square button is exactly. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank is, is another one of my all-time favorites for PS2. Um, so many on PS2, though. I mean, God of War, obviously, Kingdom Hearts. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and, and play this all day. But I just want to see, like, what the minigames are all about. Uh, neutral, no, not the question mark, neutron ball. Score goals while slicing up your opponents. Let's do it. Trying to remember some of the ones I enjoyed a lot, but didn't sink as much time into. Yeah, that's me. Like, I couldn't even, when I went to the game shop the other day and told the guy that I was planning on, like, uh, trying to collect, you know, PS2 games now, he asked me, like, how many I had, and I couldn't even remember, like, how many games I had. Uh, <laughs> I, I told him, like, probably, like, 20 or something like that, and then I get home and count, and it ended up being, like, well, obviously 40. Um, 40. One, I guess, technically, because I had bought one down there, but yeah, like. <laughs> okay, so this game kind of seems pointless if you're playing single player. So, look at that one. Baldur's Gate and Dark Alliance is really fun, especially for Couch Go Up. Baldur's Gate is another series that I've uh, been wanting to play, anyways, because, I mean, as you know, we're, we've been getting into DD and then. Um, just, I, I like CRPGs in general as well, so that's a series that I've been wanting to play a bit of. But, I, I mean, I had always planned on playing it on PC, but obviously at this point, if it's out for PS2, I'll be picking it up at some point. So it would make sense to to play it at least, uh, at least a bit. Like, if it doesn't control horribly, at least, <laughs> then uh, it makes sense to play it on console here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'd never really considered it for, like, a co-op game, but I can see how that would be fun, too. Me and my brother did a little bit of, um... Uh... Oh, jeez, I can never remember the name of the game. Drag... No, not Dragon Age. Oh, shoot. I don't remember what it is. But anyways, a, a CRPG. Um... And co-op. And, I mean, we had hoped to, to play the whole game like that at some point. But just uh, finding the time to be able to get through such a large game has been difficult, it's safe to say. Oh my lord, this level is difficult. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna end up getting another game over. I can't. What do you want from me, game? This is, this is brutal. Oh. <laughs> I can't... I, I don't know what to do here. I, I, I like hard games, generally speaking. So, like, I'm not... I'm not mad about the difficulty, but obviously this is not inducive of my, my skill set. Because <laughs> this is going very poorly. <laughs> okay, he blew up a couple at one time. He's blowing up a lot. And I got shot. I've never been very good at bullet hell games, too, and while I wouldn't say this is necessarily a bullet hell game, that's kind of the vibes that I'm getting from it. You know, the same sort of vein. So I feel like that's probably why I'm uh, one of the reasons why I'm struggling quite a bit with this one here. I really like all the weapon types, though. That's fun. I'm surprised that it gives you so many of them so rapidly, though. Do I have to shoot the helicopter now? Yes. Okay. Oh my lord. Ah. Sorry, I'm I want to read. I saw that you messaged. I want to read it, but I'm also trying not to die. It's not going too well. PC one is different from the PS2, part of the same series in a way, but different set. Okay, okay, so we'll play both then. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, I was thinking maybe like by using a charge shot, 
I'd be able to, uh, you know, focus a little more on what I was doing and hopefully not die as easily. This is, this is a game. Okay. Seems like another situation where a charge shot may be a good idea. What's he about to... How do you dodge that? I'm legitimately confused. Do I have to just dodge? Nope, you can't dodge roll through that. And you can't touch the ground, because you die. Maybe, maybe just the blade does damage. So you just have to dodge roll through the, uh, or not dodge roll, but jump through the top. I'm glad the game doesn't, like, instant kill you whenever you, uh, spawn in and touch the ground. I'm glad it at least, like, gives you a second. Oh, you know what? You probably go in a vehicle. Yeah! Now, how do I get out without dying? Okay, he can shoot at you when you're in a vehicle, too, it seems. Alright, so I need to get back on the other side of him before I hop out, or it's just death. Oh. I'm shooting the wrong way! Hey, we did it! Yeah, I feel it in switching. Seems like one of the coolest things so far in All Good Live. Honestly, don't remember what I would have said, though. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm surprised we got through it, man. <laughs> this is, that was rough. I feel like, like a second playthrough of this game would go a lot more smoothly once you kind of know what you're doing and whatnot. Um, it's probably also because I'm streaming. It just wasn't very clear to me that, hey, you dumbass, just go in the vehicle and you'll be fine. That just never occurred to me until, you know, I had already gotten one game over, or not game over, but lost multiple lives. Are we... Okay, rooftop level. Are you going to instantly die when you hit the ground? No, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm for it then. One of my uh, biggest pet peeves in video game is, or video games are like instant death pit style stuff. Um, so, like that last level, for instance, as soon as you touch the ground, just dying. I, I just not into that sort of thing. So I'm glad to see that this here is a more traditional style level. I did not see that bullet. Ah! Jesus. I'm... Oh, I'm so bad. Like, I can't see these bullets, man. I don't think these bullets exist. I think they're fake bullets. It's gaslighting me. That should have been the new grounds tank. Is it meant to be the new grounds tank? It ran over me. I need one of those uh, PS2 controllers with the auto clicker buttons. That's <laughs> just rapid fire. The weapon switching I was saying, don't worry live when you were saying you wanted to read the messages, but try not to, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, all the different kinds of weapons are really cool. I kind of wish that you could, like, collect them. I don't know what I died to. Um, and then, like, switch between them at will. But since you always die at one hit, I guess there's probably no real way to do that. Like, you just, you know, you get what you get. Again, it's very, like, uh, like space shootery kind of, but with uh, on the ground is what it's making me think of. Like, with the power-ups and the, the dying very quickly or in one hit. 
little bullet heli. Ooh, power up. I'll take it. I don't, I don't know what they all do. So do you... Yeah, you definitely move slower whenever you uh, are shooting. I think it's safer still to just constantly spam shots. And, and take the very slight speed hit. Oh, I didn't die. I thought I did. I thought I did. I thought I died. Now, now I did. Okay. Well. Mother... Oh, man, the Tenkaichi games? Yes, I didn't even think about those. Those were some of my favorite games. The Budokai, Tenkaichi. I used to... Uh, the first full program that I wrote when I was learning to code was a... Uh, it was just a command line tool that would select two fighters from Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and you would pit them up against each other, and then it would track... I mean, you had to manually type in the results, but it would track like the win-loss ratio of each character against each other and whatnot, and then you could do, like, full tournaments with them. Because for some reason, I just, I really enjoyed watching uh, two CPUs go at each other on that game. Well, those games in general, but Budokai Tenkaichi 3 specifically. That dude has an ice cube. I don't know what the ice cube does. I mean, probably kill me, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it would do. <laughs> That seems like the, what most things do in this game. I just bit that dude's head off, man. What the hell? <laughs> yes. How did you do that again? I guess that's like... It, it seems like if you're close to people whenever you attack, you do like melee stuff. So, I, 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 I mean, I guess it has something to do with that, but... Oh, you did that too, the whole having characters go against each other? Yeah, it's great, man. I think it's the whole, like, I, I I don't know, I just kind of enjoy watching things do things, right? Like, the whole ant farm sort of thing very much intrigues me. I think that's why I really enjoy so many, um, like, colony games and Sims games and stuff like that. Because you get to just kind of watch things exist in a world and doing whatever they're going to do and uh two tanks is too much i don't know what to do this is not nice i'm out of lives ain't i holy crap man <laughs> this game is much more difficult than i expected going into it what's uh what's the average completion time for this game just out of curiosity uh, how long to beat? Oh, so for for just playing through the main story, it's only two and a half hours usually. Um, but yeah, also released for the Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, GameCube, PC, Xbox, and Xbox 360. I feel like this would be a pretty good uh, Game Boy Advance style game. You know. Just the, the run and gun action, with it mostly being 2D. I wonder what it would look like on the Game Boy Advance. As far as non-Sony consoles go, I was thinking of starting like a handheld collection. Um, PlayStation obviously being my main focus, but like the, the original Game Boy for instance, there were a fair few games that I enjoyed on that and that I'm interested in playing more of. And I was thinking that would be a pretty decent one to try and collect. And I don't think it has as many games as like the PlayStation 2 does, which would be a little uh, a little more reasonable of a collection to try to get. Devil May Cry series part three on that one too, which is with the release and timeline of Dante's life. Yeah, that was another series. Uh, the only one I've ever completed was the first Devil May Cry game, but I played some of like two and three with uh, my cousin and that was another really good series that I enjoyed. Uh, these are the Fart apart Apartments and the Castle of Crap. I haven't really looked at the uh, <laughs> all the text on everything, but good old uh, 2000s crude humor here with my infinite deaths that's going on. 
Yeah, the only problem with that is, I mean, there's a adapter that has uh, a couple actually that have gained popularity so that you can play your physical games on PC, you know, through emulation for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. So, I mean, I could probably do something like that, but uh, I need to get, before I do the handheld stuff, I'd prefer to play on real hardware. So I need to get like some sort of uh, Game Boy player or something like that for a GameCube that I can uh, plug in and, and play on stream. So I would love to do like uh, Pokemon and whatnot, but but like I said, I would prefer to play on real hardware. If not, then I mean the other option is to get one of those devices. Uh, one's called like the Epilogue or something like that. I forget what the other one's called, but they, they both basically do the same thing. They just let you, uh, you know, get the the ROM from the game and the save from your from your actual physical cartridge, and then you can upload them or download them onto your computer, whatever you want to call it, and then upload the saves back onto the cartridge, so that you're not stuck uh, with just an emulated version of the game. You can actually take it afterwards and play it on real hardware, which is pretty cool. I'm not completely opposed to doing something like that, but I think I'd prefer using, like, a Game Boy player or something. I th I thought I was going in for, like, a kill animation on that dude, and instead I died, so... <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Funnily enough, my cousin was the one that got me started on Devil Maker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure before I had ever beaten two, I'm pretty sure it was my cousin that had me playing uh, Devil May Cry. At uh, his house. Oh, and Tekken. Tekken, was it Tekken 3, Tekken Tag Team? I don't remember. But one of them had a bowling minigame to it. And, I mean, we would play the the actual fighting mode, too, of course. But we spent probably more time doing the, uh, doing the stupid bowling mode in that game than the actual, uh, than the actual fighting mode in it. And then, uh, oh, and Smash Brothers. I mean, it's not a PlayStation game, but Smash Brothers, man. We would waste so much time doing that and trying to unlock all the characters and all that BS. Great times, man. So I need to remember, like, touching the guys doesn't hurt you. It's just their bullets, at least for the regular guys. So you just need to, just need to watch for their... Shooting. I guess the problem is, though, if you're, like, really close to them when they shoot, then, you know, you're gonna... You won't have time to dodge. Like that. <laughs> I can't... I, I'm probably not paying close enough attention. Do they telecast their shots at all, or is it just... Do they just do it? They probably telecast. Or, or, or you know, telecast may not be the right word, but give you a hint that they're about to shoot, I'm sure. Yeah, man, I mean, I, I, like, sports games like NASCAR-style racing and then, like, football and baseball and stuff like that, I don't really care that much for. I, I like the more arcade style um, versions of those sports. But, like, uh, bowling and tennis, just stupid stuff like that for some reason, I can play those a fair bit. <laughs> they have a small charge up time, yeah. Seems like they just kind of freeze in place for a second or something. That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking, what I'm noticing. I can't tell for these guys if it's better just to like hold on one or to go back and forth between the two. Oh, okay, I got hit by something. Ah, no. <laughs> There's just, ah. Jesus, I can't, I can't do this, man. This is freaking tough, bro. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Let's try, it. I was gonna say let's try a charge shot, but I guess a uh, charge shot doesn't really do much whenever you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this guy's dead. Is that a good sign? The tank's still moving, though, so I don't really know how helpful that is. <laughs> but at least I don't have to worry about him coming out to shoot me anymore, and it seems like that tank isn't shooting anymore, either. 
it's just the one on the right, or is that just because I'm on the left of the tank? Nah, I think it's not shooting anymore. Oh, did it just shoot? <laughs> way, way to prove me a liar, game. Just, just die. Why can't I throw grenades? I'm confused. I'm going to die again. Yes! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I, I never thought I would be buying sports games either, but I <laughs> guess I proved myself wrong there. Oh, no. I didn't see how many coins I have left. Is it like one? It's probably like one. This isn't doing any damage. How do I hurt you? Okay, well, did I die from touching the... Gr okay, yep. Can't go near the hands. Is the ground okay, at least? Oh! The, the fire hydrant did damage? Okay, and I can destroy the hands by ducking and shooting. Oh, you know what? I played a little bit of one of the Full Metal Alchemist games. I don't remember which one. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I kind of wish that you could do more with the, uh, you know, the whole alchemy thing in the in the one that I played. But, I mean, like, what were they going to do, I guess, you know? Like, they can only do so much with that. I don't know what I just got hit by. Oh, no. Is that game over? Fuck me. Okay. Well, at least we know how to beat that boss now. I actually feel like the mini boss with the two tanks is harder than the stupid actual bosses. Uh, just, uh, yeah, whatever. At least the sports games tend to be really cheap, so, like, it shouldn't cost too much money to get them all, uh... Oh, no, not new game. What am I doing? Need to, need to exit out of that. Go back to level one, three, one, four, which, whichever one it was we were on. I, uh, I can't remember the name of the one that I played either. I, I'm fairly certain it was PS2, though. I, I don't think it was PS3. I, I think I had rented it from Gamefly at some point. Um, and that was, I mean, I still had a Gamefly subscription after I got PS3, but it was mostly PS2 stuff that I was doing on there. The game needs a, uh, a faster way of switching between levels, or not switching between levels, but um, like whenever you get a game over of getting back into the levels, kicking you all the way out to the main menu and making you back out of the high score screen seems like a bit much. So the game is pretty short. I mean, there's five levels in the first world, six in the next, and then four, five in the last. So relatively short. If I didn't suck at the game, then I probably beat it already. I, uh, I guess that's why they uh, made the game so hard, though, you know, to keep people playing. Can't remember which one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look crazy compared to the boss. Yeah, the tanks are so much harder. Plus, they just seem to spend or sell so many sports games because for whatever reason, a lot of people are really into the sports balls, you know, and so they, they buy them all. Even though, in my opinion, they're the same every year. Like, it, it seems so boring to me personally, but hey, whatever. Yeah, no, the game's not bad. Um, this one here, Alien Hominid. It just, uh, I feel like it, it would be much more fun with with a, a second player. Like the, uh, like the arcade TMNT game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game, for instance. Another game that I'm not very good at, but... Um, that we played a lot when I was younger. Just because, you know, it's just a lot of fun to, with, with a buddy. Um, usually my cousin, of course. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, to just go through an arcade like game like that. And, and co-op and try to get as far as you can. Man. Okay, I need a, I need a dodge roll. I need to remember dodge roll was a thing. I think that's one of my problems, is that... I keep trying to, like, jump or run out of the way of, of the, uh, like, the bullets from the helicopter, for instance. And I need to remember that I can just roll left or right. 
I've yet to see... Okay. Hmm. See, I'm trying to figure out if you can dodge roll through projectiles. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Not going to try that anymore. It uh, did not go too well. Okay. Here's the plan. Just stay over here. Jump out of the way of those. Then there's going to be another tank right here. I'm thinking maybe I can do the same thing with him. Just stay in the corner. Because, like, if a guy gets too close to you, you do a, uh, a, a melee attack. So, like, if they just come off screen to the left or whatever, it seems like you'll kill them pretty much instantly anyways. Little dick storage. Nice. Okay. I like this laser weapon, just cutting people in half constantly. <laughs> it's kind of morbid, but... AlexInWonderland.com? I don't suggest anybody goes to that website, but if anybody does go to Alex in Wonderland, I would love to hear if it's not some sort of terrible porn site, because uh, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not recommending anybody do it, but, uh, it has piqued my interest. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a few games I don't play now because co-op on it was, like, 75%. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. And that's a lot of arcade -y type of games for me. I feel like it's, it's co-op is where it's at. There's a, uh, I, I saw a YouTuber playing it. Um, Tricky Towers. It's like a, a tetris -y style game, kind of. Um, and it's me. Oh, okay. Well, we found out what the ice cube does exactly. And it looked like I tried to bite this dude's head off, but it didn't work. Anyways, I, uh, I saw some YouTuber playing it, and it looked like a lot of fun. And I've died to this dude twice now. And uh, yeah, I really want to play it, but I, I tried it a tiny bit single player on PlayStation Now. And it, you really need, like, other people to, to really enjoy it, in my opinion. It has like a single player mission style mode, right? Where you're you're going through different challenges. That's what that's what it is. Um, so like that's fine and all, but it's a costume store. Okay, I wonder if it always was though, or if it was something different whenever they made the game. Whenever this game came out, I don't remember off the top of my head. All right, here we go. Ready to get destroyed. Ah, come on. All right, good. That dude's dead. Okay, can we just sit in this one spot now? <laughs> did we? Did we break the game? I think. I think we found a way to win, guys. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm doing damage to that other tank over there or not, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Are we doing damage to it? It looks pretty set up, too. You mean the, the website looks pretty set up? Alright, I, I, I don't think I'm doing damage to that other tank. We'll go, like, there. Keep him over there away from me. Give myself a little bit of space. There we go. So this is how you do it, man. We figured it out. We packed into the Matrix. Done. GG. Look at that. Look at that. That was beautiful. Okay, now we just got to... Uh... Well, we know how to beat the boss, too. So that shouldn't be too bad. We just uh, blow up a fire hydrant. Eat your instant pudding. Oh, he's a pudding monster. He, he came from the pudding. He's one with the pudding. And dead. <laughs> I'm sure he let us know that he was going to do that attack, but I did not see it. So, like, can I stand here? Does he have any way of, like, stopping me from standing here? Other than the hands? 
Because I think this will dodge his puking style attack. I think. Yeah, yeah, he looks sandy. Their cheapest costume is 750? What the hell, man? That's some high-end costume stuff. That's like a boutique costume store or something. <laughs> so I feel like the speed run for this game is just going to be a bunch of really uh, cheesy setups <laughs> like that, where you just find a spot to stand in and then you just, you just stand there. <laughs> That's all there was to it. That ended up being incredibly easy. Okay. For anybody just joining or uh, that missed the beginning there, this is the PS2 Gauntlet. I am on a quest to collect and play a bit of every PS2 game. I am not crazy, so I don't plan on completing every PS2 game. Unless, like, I somehow am able to, to turn this into a full-time job. But I have a life outside of Twitch, sadly, and uh, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. There's nearly 1,800 North American PS2 games, and uh, if I were to try to complete all of them on stream, I would probably be doing that until the day I die. So instead, I'm just going to try them out and probably complete the ones that I end up really enjoying. So, uh, like, if I if there's one that I end up having a lot of fun with, or if the the stream really enjoys or whatever, then of course I'm willing to uh, to play more of that. There's one that's five thousand dollars on that site. I'm gonna have to look at it after I get off stream or whatever, or in between the next set of levels. That is insane. It still makes me wonder though if it was something else originally or. If it was always a, a, a boutique costume store. <laughs> okay, so just hold up and dodge. Nope. Alright, GG. We did it. Mission accomplished. One problem with all the particle effects here, like, while it's very pretty... It uh, makes it very hard to see <laughs> what the hell is going on. <laughs> also, I just noticed that uh, one of the dudes got frozen over there. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm using a a, a uh, ice gun here in some way. Like, how does that... Like, did I freeze him? If so, how? Fish are like plants pet shop. We sell poisonous frogs. Everything else is dead. <laughs> Okay, that's... sure. That's fine. Crappy Cone. I, uh, I would not want to eat chocolate ice cream from Crappy Cone. I mean, it just doesn't sound like the best of ideas to me. To each their own, I guess. If, like, Crappy Cone is your favorite place to get ice cream from, then hey, whatever, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and judge you, but I'm going to quietly judge you, like, in my head. So I lied, I guess. I will judge you. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Dolphin Park. Ooh, mini boss. I don't think we're to the main boss already, so I'm assuming this is a mini boss. Okay, I think I need to charge shot this guy, because... Because uh, it's a little hard to get around him. And shoot at the same time. Oh, he got a hold of me. <laughs> He's already dead, man. Come on, leave him alone. GG, boys. I might be getting the hang of it. I spoke way too soon, obviously, since I died to the very next bullet, but... Oh, he's hiding behind the, the hedges. I thought you could just walk through them. I thought they were just like art ass, like uh, decoration, I mean. Oh, that's gonna blow up. I don't know, man. Maybe the creators of this game, like, maybe that's their costume store or something. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe that, that specific costume store was just very popular with the, uh, the Newgrounds crowd. 
Oh, I forgot we're fighting the FBI here. Warning, do not damage head. Okay, don't get too close. How do I get up there? Can I shoot him with a simple jump? Okay, I can with a charge shot at least. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. I, I understood what you meant, Nate. I was just saying that, uh, like, maybe it was always a costume, online costume store. But, uh, for whatever reason, like, that costume store was just really popular on Newgrounds. <laughs> like, I wouldn't put it past the Newgrounds guys to, uh, to have a favorite costume shop. <laughs> okay, he's close now. I don't like this. I'm dead. What? Oh no, I, I lived through that. When he when he punched me there, I thought I had died, but he just... Okay, good. Thank you for moving back. Oh, okay. He, we did it. He's, he's dead. Got some deep pockets. I mean, that site was huge once upon a time, so I wouldn't be surprised if they made bank off of that. I don't know, obviously, if they did or not, but... Bro, they taking my chip? Okay, don't go in the wood chipper. You can't ride the wood chipper. That is not an option. You, uh, you just die. <laughs> that's, that's what happens. Speaking of dying, that's what I am going to do continually, obviously. Power up! Can I stop dying for two seconds? Oh, I just saw my grenades change too whenever I got that power up. Hey, cool. A lot of bosses in this level, man. Oh. Ow. Okay, so I can... Oh, can I drop them in the chipper? Is that what this is? <laughs> Dude, that's messed up. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what the rating of this game is, but uh, if it wasn't mature, I'd be surprised. Oh, and I also just accidentally figured out how to damage the boss here. I gotta pick up his beam without letting it hit me. Do I have any coins left? I don't know if I do or not. Now, I wonder what happens if they rise clear up to my ship. Like, will that hurt me? Is that something that I shouldn't let happen? I feel like... Probably? Yeah. Uh, oh no, did it kill my beam? I think it killed my beam. So like, so it's fine if it happens, it'll just make things take longer. Well, this seems like another fairly easy boss then. Or no, did that hurt me? I think maybe that did hurt me, I don't know. I don't know, man, I don't know anything. Damn it. GG, GG. Scrolling through PS2 games to remember ones that you've played, and all I have to say is Lilo and Stitch game specifically, Sticks, Stitch Experiment 626, wonderful game. I don't think I've ever played any Lilo and Stitch games. I haven't played that many, um, like Disney games in general, to be honest. I've played a couple of them, um, and I own a couple on the PlayStation 1 that I've played, but not a whole lot. Stitch Experiment 626. Is it like a uh, action RPG adventure game sort of deal or something? I, the one that I've seen before was like a Crash Bandicoot knockoff. That's the only Lilo and Stitch game I've ever seen, but I've, like I said, I've never played any of them, though. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Am I trying to get towards the thing? 
I, I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. All I know is X makes me move. And there's an arrow pointing me in a direction, so I'm gonna go that way. Oh, okay, it's, it's friendlies. Oh, they made me a weapon! Dope. Look at you guys go. Why are the humans in this game trying to help me destroy the FBI? What is up with that? Like, I'm, I'm thankful. Thank you. But... Is this, is this armor? Is that what I just unlocked, or...? Oh, up, up, up. Oh, what is, oh, turbo. Okay. What is this one? There's so many things now. I feel like I should spend a little bit of time trying to kill them all, but at the same time, I'm just like, just let me murder people. Triple shot, triple shot. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, now I fire from the back, too. Okay. So suddenly this did turn into a space shooter. Um. <laughs> this just looks like a crate. With missiles? Okay. Got the whole Pentagon chasing me down now. What were those uh, fighter jets that just flew past? Uh, a couple balls. We got balls. Everybody likes a good pair of balls on the rocket ship. Oh. So is this just like a survival section now? I don't actually know what's going on at this point. Is it boss battle? I don't see it. There's no boss bar. As far as I can tell, I'm not trying to get anywhere. Am I going... Am I just leaving the atmosphere? What if I just keep going up? Oh, okay. Boss. Now the boss. Maybe I just wasn't high enough. Okay. And I see my life bar now. It's in the bottom left. I didn't see that before. So... Like, I'm sure it'd be much faster if I actually tried to, like, hit the boss. But the, uh, the missiles seem to have... That was bullshit. I couldn't move. Anyways, maybe I had to use, like, the, uh, the booster to get out of there or something. Anyways, the, the missiles seem to have, like, a, uh, a homing shot to them. So it seems like it makes more sense to just kind of stay away from the boss and just let the missiles do their thing. Yeah. You can always be higher. I don't know, man. At some point, like, enough's enough, right? Where's this boss at? Hello? Oh, found him. Or he found me, I guess, more like it. Okay, exhaust hurts with all the fire. Same sort of deal here. Seems like it's best to just kind of stay away and let the missiles do their work. There's this arcade game. No way related to PS2. Uh, but it's called like Bosconian or something like that. Megan got me a, uh, a uh, like one of those plug and play arcade games things and it was on there and I'd never played it before that. Oh man, it is so much fun. It's a, it's a space shooter. That's what made me think of it. Depends if you're trying to travel dimensionally. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. <laughs> is this... Is this USSR? What is... What is this? Oh, they were sending... Oh, no. <laughs> we saved America, guys. We did it. You're welcome. Americans, all right? If it weren't for me and Mr. Hominid here, you would all be destroyed. Your day would be fucked up.
But I saved you. Because I love you. What are we on? Level two! We are one third of the way through the game. I wonder how much harder it's going to get. <laughs> like, is the difficulty going to continue to increase? Or is it, was that it? Like, is, is that as difficult as it gets and it just throws you right into the deep end from the start? Okay, it looks like we're in Russia now. At least the FBI won't get me here, right? <laughs> so, I mean, the bad guys don't really seem any different. I mean, they look different, of course, but... It's the same basic gameplay so far. Ah, I literally jumped right into that bullet. I, uh, I like how it has, like, all the different types of gameplay to it, though. Like, that's nice. It helps keep the game a little bit more fresh than if it was just the, uh, just the side-scrolling shooter the entire time. They are literally popping out of the snow. Ah, bruh. Bruh. This game is short enough that we may end up completing it. I, uh... It's not, like, particularly a favorite of mine or anything. It's fine, but I, I do wish I was playing with another person. Um, but, I mean, it's so short that... Yeah, unless, like, the difficulty really ends up ramping up or something. I don't see any reason not to... To, uh... Try and complete it. I think I have to destroy these missiles, but... That wasn't happening. Oh, I should have tried and seen what the, uh... Okay, charge shot. Charge shot missed. Good job. Okay, can I not shoot them? No, you can't. I'm just bad. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, no, it's not like... It, it, it's, it's okay, like, the gameplay's fine. If, if I was a, a guy to give it a rating or something like that, I'd give it, like, an average score. But, um... But if, if it really is only, like, a two-and-a-half-hour experience, like, how long to beat is saying, then it seems reasonable to try and complete it. Oh my lord, I cannot get the second missile ever. <laughs> I'm glad this game gives you so many lives, because otherwise I would be literally screwed. Did I get iframes there? I am so confused how the dodge dodging works. It's like, sometimes it seems like you get a bit of iframes, other times it doesn't, so I don't really know. Did I just get... I did. I died. Deep breasts. Oh. <laughs> Some of these are a little bit irritating, death-wise. It's probably my fault. I'm sure it's perfectly possible to dodge all these things that I'm getting destroyed by. But nonetheless. Oh man, we're gonna break down the wall. And the sandbag, apparently. And die, repeatedly, too, of course. Oh. We're on our last point. I don't think we're gonna make it through this one without getting a game over, boys. Uh, how many grenades am I going to jump into before the end of the stream? I should set up a, a, a bet on that, a gamble thing for the bot. <laughs> uh, don't kill me, please. Oh, man. I should probably duck. I feel like less things tend to shoot down at the ground, 
So ducking's probably the safer thing to do right before you die. Yeah, you got this. I'm not sure about that. Is this a boss? Yes. Ooh, what? Okay. I thought the dude was the boss. Well, yep. <laughs> Didn't really even get to learn what the boss does because I died. That's a GG. Um, for the next game, whenever I do that in a, in a couple days or maybe tomorrow or whatever, we'll see, depending on scheduling and things. Um, I'm probably just going to continue alphabetically unless, uh, there ends up being a request for like a specific game off the list or whatever. Um, as far as like, I hit the new game again. I'm terrible. As far as like what I'm most excited for, I, I guess, uh, I mean the Lord of the Rings games, I kind of want to see what they're about. Uh, Grand Theft Auto is always a lot of fun, of course, and then uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, because I mean I love Ratchet and Clank, and Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite game series. So, I mean those are the games that I'm like the most excited to play. But at the same time, I've played all those games a million times, so I'm also very, very interested in seeing you know just what some of the other games are about. The The Lord of the Rings, the Chronicle of Narnia games. Uh, I see Ben 10 on the list. I'm wondering kind of how they adapted that to a video game, like what that's all about. Oh, go back up. I played one of them on, I believe it was the original Xbox actually, and it was a tactical RPG game and uh, like a turn-based tactical game. And I, yeah, it was a ton of fun. I don't think I ever got around to beating it, but I, I really, really like that game. I have no idea if these other ones are like that or not, but I'm excited to see how they play. And if they do play like that, then all the better, really. Although at the same time, shorter games, I need to play more shorter games because I, I always fall into this trap of playing a lot of very long games that I just can't complete. Uh, in a reasonable amount of time. Man, this dude in the tower is giving me a lot more trouble than I would have expected. They're more action-like. I, I mean, that's fine, of course. I'm so excited to try them out. Um, I mean, you know that I love Lord of the Rings lore and just the, uh, the whole world and all that, so... Anything that I can play that has to do with the Lord of the Rings, unless it's trash, I'm excited for. But I really like uh, tactical turn-based RPGs as well. They have a right feel to them. <laughs> I know what you meant. RPG, yeah. Okay, let's try to not miss that guy. Maybe shoot him from the bottom. Maybe just die. Maybe just do that instead. Oh my lord. This game is just mildly infuriating. And die instantly to the bot. I wonder what happens if you let it time out. I imagine you just die if you let it time out. Like, you just get a, a quicker game over or whatever. This... what? <laughs> the way that thing was like bouncing around, I didn't know what to do. Hey, we actually dodged one. I'm, I'm proud. I don't know if the stream's proud, but I'm proud. <laughs> ah. Why do I keep shooting up? I'm trying to shoot left. It's like playing through the movies, but done well. I, I kind of would have preferred, I think, if it was like a new lore, to be honest, but I, I'll take, I'll take playing through the movies. <laughs> Ooh. 
And, uh... It's also, I'd be interested to see, like, uh, because the movies omitted a bunch of stuff from the books. So maybe with the games, they'll have, like, more lore that the, that the books had that didn't make it into the games or something. That'd be cool, too. Ah, trash. Okay, well. I figured out how to do the boss a bit better, but uh, these enemies are still... I think how they made the game more difficult, I think they just made them shoot more often, to be honest with you. And then, of course, adding these stupid guys that shoot grenades all over the place and whatnot. The, uh, the bullets, I wish, were a little bit larger. Just to make them easier to see, like the enemy shots. But I do feel like it's a bit tough to see when when a shot is coming at you. And a lot of times I just die and I don't know what happened. <laughs> like right there. I just, just went out in a blaze of glory. Wait, is that a power-up? We'll never know. I jumped into a bullet that time. I, I saw that one. Ah! Duck. 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 Okay, so these guys are smart enough to duck and shoot at you, though, too. So, Ducking isn't, like, a guaranteed way to, to be safe. Alright, we're at the boss now. I think we have an extra life or two, so been a while since I played them. I do believe I was about 12 or 13 last time, so they may have added extra bits that you missed or don't remember. Yeah. I mean, if they didn't, that's fine, too. But, like, it would be cool if they... if they did add extra stuff. Um... So... Don't get nailed to the ground. Oh, okay, I see. He's got a face. I didn't even see the face. And he also catches the ground on fire so don't don't die in the fire so this may be another charging type of boss Ugh. okay that looked like the last the last coin that I had Ah, damn it. This is not this is not going well, guys. Sorry, right, we're we're what a third of the way there. We got this. Did I uh I must have got shot by that dude. Jump! Come on, halfway there, halfway there. Okay, he's he's he, he's going faster. Oh no, this is gonna be another GG. Damn it! Damn oh, man! Well, I got hopeful there at the end. I thought maybe we had it. But we did not. Yep, plus I wasn't as much of a completionist at the time. Yeah, fair, fair. Oh, man. So, definitely a difficulty spike. No worries there, man. They, <laughs> they got that. Oh, my headset's dying. I gotta plug that in real quick. Not with that cord, it is way too short. Uh, where is my long cube? All right, uh, this end goes over here. This end goes in the headphones. All right, let's give it one more go. 
If I get another game over, I think I'm gonna call it on that level. But I'm gonna give it a good honest try here. I think we got it this time. We learned a lot. Just depends on how, just need to try to, to save as many levels or lives going through the level as I can, cause I'm definitely going to lose a couple on the boss there. It's just uh, dodging all of these stray shots can really be a pain in the ass. And I'm also having a little bit of trouble telling what's ground and uh, what's just like art as well, which is making it harder. Okay, and for those guys in the tower, it seems like it's best just to go straight for the charge shot. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the charge shot was killing them in one hit, so... Uh, see a shot. Okay, so with the the special power ups, it's not time based. It's it's number of shots you have. You have am ammunition. Okay. Well, I died, but at least I got him. Oh. I didn't realize this guy was so soon. I thought we had a little bit longer before him. I, uh, I see your message, I just can't read it at the second. So I'm worried about dying. Ah. I guess I could have read it there real quick, my bad. <laughs> Hold on. I dodge rolled the wrong way. It's really hoping to be able to get through this guy without taking damage. Okay, so when it's coming straight at me like that, I need to just jump it. Come on. Got to get them them fast clicking skills down. Seems like the the second bullet's also easier the farther you go because it starts getting faster. And when it gets faster, it, it bounces around a lot more, like off the ground a lot more easily. I don't know what I died to that time, but just got to pull up the list and I actually want to request Lord of the Ring Two Towers or Third Age because both of those are ones I didn't get to play much. Saw Third Age after it was half beaten and can't remember Two Towers. Don't think I got to play it much. Played the first one a good bit and returned the king. Um, did they make a game for all three though? Like, is there a Fellowship of the Rings game? Because if there is, if I was going to like play through them at least, I'd probably play them through in order. If it's just like a first impressions, trying it out for an hour or two style thing or whatever, then I don't mind as much. But, uh... But yeah, if it's like I'm going to play through them, then, then I'd probably do Fellowship of the Ring first and then, you know, Two Towers Return of the King. Damn it. Gotta, I got to save some of these lives, man, but I can't see the bullets through all the red. Plus the sandbag being in the way, really. Because they seem to be able to shoot over the sandbag, but I, I can't. <laughs> kind of bullshit. I mean, I guess it's doing its job, but... Oh, wait, no, it's not. I'm on the backside of the... <laughs> of the, uh, sandbag. It should be protecting me. Ah, freaking grenade in the air, man. Isn't that, like, a war crime or something? Putting grenades in the air? I just bit a dude's head off again, though. 10 out of 10 game. Would play again. Just for biting people's heads off. See, like, this section is so much easier because the sandbag's not there to stop them from being able to, uh, or to stop me from being able to hit them. So it's much easier to be able to shoot them and, uh, 
which makes it easier to 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 just kind of dodge their shots and whatnot. All right, boss time. We got it this time. I believe. Okay, let's uh, do the charge shot strat. That seemed to be working somewhat. I don't know exactly how long it takes to do a charge shot, but I need to... I don't know how to survive that. Do I just have to jump at, like, exactly the right time? I guess that's probably what it is. I shot that one the wrong way. Ah, missed. Damn it. I forgot I even had the Naruto game, to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot that one was on the list there. But yeah, no, I wouldn't mind playing that one, too. I never played any of the Naruto games, and, I mean, as you may know, it's not one of my favorite animes or anything like that, but still, it, uh, be fun to play. It's a very popular IP, obviously, as well. I saw that bullet coming. I didn't even try to dodge it. All right, so now he's in the hyper mode, and I'm, I've accepted I'm just going to die every time he decides to scorch the earth. Like, that's just, that's just my fate. It seems kind of pointless to, to kill the, the bad guys, because every time you kill one, another one's just going to spawn anyways. It seems like it'd be smarter to just to just dodge them. I'm mad at myself that I haven't been able to dodge one of those uh, <laughs> fire ground fire attacks. But we killed him. I don't know if that was the last boss of the level or not. But he's dead. It was. We did it. Fuck yes. Yes, they did. But I'll double check. Third age was from Supper from. It is, as far as I recall. Also, just saw you. Wait, what? Yes, they did, but I'll double check third age. Was from, separate from. It is as far as I recall. Okay. Also, just saw you have Uzumaki Chronicles, so I placed that as a secondary one if you want to wait till you have rest of the lots. I also saw there is Habit Game. What is Habit Game? Which one's that? It's pretty decent. I don't get to play it much. Got stolen, sadly. Ah, that always sucks. Had some stuff stolen as well. It's not a good time at all but what is uh what's habits game is i'm assuming that's a uh like a a uh acronym or something that i just not knowing that's cute hobbit game okay 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 that makes sense autocorrect oh, i can't go in that ow there are missiles everywhere what is going on this has to violate some sort of health and safety violations. Soldiers on the ground with missiles everywhere. I don't I don't think this is acceptable. Now suddenly jetpack, KGP jetpack. This like a guy in the tower situation where I just need to hit him once. Doesn't seem like it sadly. Oh lord. Oh, man. Oh, your phone screen's cracked, too. That sucks, man. Yeah, that would make it harder to see what you're typing. I, uh, I'm gonna game over on the first, like, non-standard mop here. <laughs> uh. Can I go in this vehicle? Yes. Oh, and I can actually shoot missiles out of it? Burn, everybody. Die. Heck yes. Okay. What am I doing in this situation? Is it just a survival section? Yeah, I guess it's just a survival section. I just gotta run back and forth and try not to die. Which, I mean, isn't that the whole game? 
This feels like a boss rush almost. That one was easier. Seems like hitting people, like shooting up, I, I seem to have a problem with. I don't know. Thanks for the power up, homie. Helping the aliens out. We'll remember you whenever we take over the world. Can I fly in that? Oh, okay. What are these? Like, that I'm destroying, are they snowmobiles, or...? I don't know what they are. But like the sandbags, it's making it annoying. And there's so many of them! Why are there so many?! I like the tinking sound whenever you shoot this truck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what's up with that, but I like it. Shot in the back of the head. What a coward. I don't see half these shots coming at me. Die, truck, die. Thank you. Ooh, you're probably going to be the boss, but you look cool. Can I ride you? No, oh, well. What? I can! Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, that's dope. Heck yes. Let's go, alien buddy. Is this like the Hulk, Russian Hulk here? I love it. This is awesome. I, I think... Oh, your hand works as a platform? Okay. I don't know why it didn't just have me. Oh, if you shoot down, you like float in the air for a minute. Can I not kill you? I'm starting to think I can't kill you. Just dodge you. Are these Russian teddy bears? What is this game even? <laughs> it's cool as can be. Hell yeah, man. That thing was dope. So is my am I just trying to like a suddenly, like, platformer game, I guess? It doesn't seem like I can kill you. Well, I mean, you are lighting up whenever I shoot you. Hold on. I just want to see if I can kill one of them now. Curious. I don't know, man. It's not looking like it. Okay, so yeah, I guess you just gotta dodge those guys. Please wait. Um, you look scary. Ooh, hi. I feel like this is a bad place to be. I'm not sure why yet, but I'm sure it's going to hurt. Okay, so... Oh, I died. I thought I... I thought I had that. I thought I was good there. Alright, try again. We didn't die on that one level. I said I was only quitting if I died on that one level. I'll give this one another shot. Uh, sure. STM sounds good. I don't know. Don't really care. I, uh, I think getting a high score against my friends in this game is a little, a little overdue at this point. It's not so much seeing as I got clean crack right where my keyboard is, so if I go too fast it doesn't pick up letters or throws the wrong one. Oh, yeah, that makes sense too. This, uh, interface kind of irritates me, because you don't just, like, press a button and go to the next... UI element, you're actually like moving your finger around. So it works more like a mouse. But, you know, playing on a console, I don't expect it to work like a mouse. I expect it to work like a, a normal UI that shifts from button to button. Kind of surprised with how long the loading screens are. Like, they're not as long as like Grand Theft Auto or anything, right? They're not that bad. But just, uh, with the style of game it is, I don't know, with it being like simpler 2D stuff, I guess I just would have expected it to be fairly quick loading. Also, this intro is ridiculous to this level. Like, look how much crap is going on on the screen right at the beginning. <laughs> it is so much worse than pretty much the whole rest of the level. 
Uh, and then the stupid, I forgot all about this guy in the, in the, the, the jet pack up there. Okay, well, we did that much better than last time, so there's hope. There's hope. Dropped into Armageddon, yeah, for real. Like, <laughs> no kidding. And then this thing, dude, just... That, I feel like my build, or my, my truck there didn't last nearly as long that time. Give me gun. And then instantly die. Good job. Okay, so this guy, we just gotta dodge you and hit you with a couple of these. Real quick. Easy. Easy peasy, man. There's seven Lord of the Rings game. Three. Main Fellowship. Two Towers. Return of the King. Then spin-offs. Aragon's Quest. Third Age. Conquest. And The Hobbit. I think it was Aragon's Quest that I may have played. That, at the very least, that one, like, the name sounds very familiar on that one. So I'm not positive if that was it or not, but... There's a, there's a chance that was the one that I played that was like a, uh, a turn-based tactical RPG. That section went a lot smoother this time, too. I don't want to jinx it, but maybe we learned something. All soldiers must... Nope, not saying that. Ah, uh, we were doing so good. Did he just, just like pistol whip me? What the hell? I didn't know they had uh, melee attacks. That or conquest. I literally jumped into the bullet. <laughs> this is probably my favorite part of the game so far. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember which one. It's just when you mentioned Aragon's Quest, that one just sounded very familiar for one reason or another. But uh, but I really don't remember if that was the one or not, though. What? I thought I ducked that. Uh, okay. Oh, you can't even touch them, like, on the side. Good to know. I thought I could do, like, a cheeky run under two of them or something. Yeah, see, and, and uh, the one that I played, whichever one it was, you weren't controlling a whole army. You were just controlling, like, a small party of people. Um, and that party of people was different for, like, each mission or whatever, but... Oh, no, I feel a sneeze. All right, I'm back. <laughs> and I'm dead. I just died twice. I think I died twice. All right, so what happens after the bears? There's a mini boss, apparently. A, a sub boss? Are the bears the boss? The bears are the sub boss. Okay. I mean, if they're not going to move, though, then you can literally just stand in one spot the whole time. So this seems kind of dumb. To be honest, I'm I'm a little against this one here. Yeah, this is this is this is a dumb fight right here. Or a dumb section to the fight at least. Okay, well it got a little less dumb. <laughs> oh, but even more hard. Are they gonna continue splitting into smaller pieces? Why? Do they have a predictable pattern? Uh Semi predictable, maybe. Okay, let's uh, let's try charge shots. Okay, so every time you kill one, it gets smaller, but it doesn't necessarily like it's not like a, a hydra or whatever where you kill one and it splits into two at least. They just get smaller. That's not too bad. Ah, you little. Okay, is the, the actual boss coming back now? Thank you.
Well, that was... Just hit the button as fast as possible. Uh, can only hit so fast. Please die. Yes. <laughs> Mashing for the win, man. That's all you got to do. Just got to mash like a motherfucker. Get you right through it. Conquest sounds like it would be fun too, though. Controlling whole armies of, of things, of, you know, humans, elves, dwarves, whatever else you may control. Dude, can you control, like, the Ents and whatnot? That'd be pretty sick. I got a whole 95 style points. <laughs> Maybe not dying 20 times would, uh, net me a couple more. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Two, three. How many were there in the second world? Five levels, I think. Maybe we'll actually get through. Get through this. The the not the game, but the <laughs> the second world. Okay, am I just just trying not to die? Okay. Suddenly, platforming game. Honestly, I think this is more of what the game needed. Like for me, at least, right? I, there's obviously there's a lot of people that that would probably prefer the game the way it is. You know, with the all the bullet hell like elements and whatnot. But for me personally, I think it just needs to chill a little bit. So I was just looking at the uh, the jumping animation. <laughs> so that uh that uh, oil robot back there or something? Well, I, I didn't even see the shot, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it shoots out like the spout. Okay. I think we got this one. Oh, okay, suddenly rockets. Didn't expect that. Wait, what? How is he? Oh, it turned into little rocket boosters up top. I was like, how is this dude flying? I guess that's why. Oh, he stopped. Oh, he seems angry. <laughs> What? Laser beams? I did not agree to laser beams. This is bullshit. I want to speak to my lawyer. Why well, the hitbox is a little bit forgiving? On, uh, are, is your name Alien Hominid? Like, is that is that the name of the character here? If I understand right, just started Googling it. It isn't one I got to play. Yeah, I mean, I, I certainly haven't played uh, all of them. I don't think that's one of them that I've played. Which, uh, again, just makes me think more that it was Aragon's quest that uh, that I got to play. Because uh, I don't remember the one I played directly following the plot of any of the movies. Though I could definitely be wrong about that. It's, I was probably like 14 or something when I played that game. So am I trying to kill you, or am I trying to destroy this car? What am I trying to do? I mean, other than die repeatedly, because that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing pretty well at that. I was trying to destroy the vehicle. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. No, don't jump. <laughs> I hate this game. Not literally, but literally. Oh, what? Oh my god, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just, just take it slow. 
I just got killed by a body. <laughs> they just... <laughs> they just threw a body at me. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. This is not what I ex expected. How do you dodge that? Ooh, Kamehameha wave? What? <laughs> Oh, I thought I could go under that. Okay, so you can jump over it. Just barely, though. That is brutal. Oh, no, it's fast now. Ah, oh, my lord. This is, this is a tough one, man. This might be another GG. And how do you... How do you dodge the Kamehameha melee? What? I am so lost with that one. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing there. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. All right. Uh, sure. Oh, 69. Nice. Uh, okay, game. Load. Are we on two, three? Yeah. I mean, I appreciate they tried to do something a little bit different with the main menu, but I just don't think it was really necessary either. I was about to say, we'll be fine if we just focus, and then I literally died. Like, as the words were getting ready to come out of my mouth, death happened. Ah, you... Wah, man. I already forgot about him shooting crap out of that. I need to get the timing down. I think it's a sound cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound cue is what I was doing last time. And then suddenly missiles. That'll blow everything up. And then he's going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise it up. And then the stompy stomp is going to come over here. I'm going to die. Going to throw grenades. I don't know if they do anything. It's going to randomly stop. Alright, we got it. We got it. Now laser beams. Which, honestly, I thought were going to be harder than they were. Just kind of a time waster because you gotta run back and forth with it. GG. All right, just try not to lose too many lives on the way to the the real boss, or what I'm assuming the real boss is at least. I hope there's not another boss after him, otherwise we're really gonna be hurting. Not nice, man. Not nice. I was trying to get back on top of it so I could wait for that random rogue shot on the bottom to go away. And it didn't happen. Okay, you just gotta, you gotta wait for the dude to appear and then dodge roll the other direction, that's all. I was not in the path of that. That was bullshit. It cheated. Okay, that one was a little far over four. <laughs> Wait for the shots to go so I don't have to worry about them as much. 
And then just, just, just take it slow, man. The body, every time with the body. Thank you for the power up. I appreciate you. All right, we're back at the boss though. Try to remember to duck. Duck under those shots. And then you can jump over that. Look at that, we're learning patterns, guys. Professional gamers. I gotta focus. <laughs> I just shot that shot the wrong direction. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the Kamehameha wave, though. Oh, was he just charging one up? So if I hit him with a charge shot, he can't do the Kamehameha wave? Is that how it works? I mean, I guess that makes sense. My charge shot seems to kind of stun people a little bit. Yes, okay. I keep standing up too quickly. Damn it, come on, man. Sorry, we're, we're like already, you know, three quarters of the way through. No! Yep. Um, and, and we still have a couple coins left, so I, I think we're going to beat him regardless. But I could use a lifeline. Is he dead? Yeah, boy. Okay, it was that final boss. Yes, it was. Dude. All right, I think we have time to try to get through one more. I'm gonna try to get through one more. I would like to get through all of World 2, but, but uh, I don't think I have time for that tonight. How many style points are we gonna get? Any? No, just zero? All right. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't want your style points anyways. Two, four. All right. Let's go. Wait, are they like cowering in fear? Oh no, they're sleeping. I see the Z's now. I stole your thing. What are these snowmobile? <laughs> Ooh, is this a train level? Oh. Okay, so this is this is like you gotta you gotta jump over the things, duck under the things. Okay. I can dig it. What do I do? Okay, that's not a building that I gotta worry about. It doesn't look like. Oh, can I blow everything up or just like... Oh no, okay. Holding jump jumps repeatedly. That's good to know. I didn't realize that at first. It is a train level. I like trains. Can I do anything with the train, or it's just enemies? Okay. Do I have a health bar or anything? Like, with the, uh... Like, with the, uh... The spaceship, or...? Doesn't look like it. What's the point of blowing all this stuff up? Like, do I... I'm guessing, is it just bonus points, or does it, like, make the end of the level easier or something? Because I can blow up the cars and the fuel tanks and all that BS. Oh. We dead, Jim. Okay. So, you gotta dodge the coal, I guess? Can I, can I shoot the coal? Uh, I can't tell. Can't tell if I can shoot the coal or not. Let's just focus on trying to dodge it. Okay, dodge and shoot, dodge and shoot. It's a little too quiet, this section, I feel like. It's like you need some new music or something. I don't know why that one blew up. Can you not land on top of those? It looked like you could. Last, uh, last life here, so. This, uh, 
This may be a game over. I landed on top though, man. Like, what is going on here? Alright, I think it's what, one or two more? One or two more. Yes, okay. Hopefully... Alright, that was fun. I, I jumped too early. I accept that one. I was gonna say hopefully that was the end of uh, that, but it definitely isn't. And uh, I have one life left, so... <laughs> so I think this is gonna be a game over here. Is that another boss? No. Yeah, that was... Oh, no, wait. I must have got another one. I think when you get a certain number of points or something, you get another life. Which, I mean, makes sense, you know? Seems like some of the bullets don't seem to hurt me. Is it like if they hit the vehicle, it doesn't hurt me or something? Ooh. Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to jump that. I should have just straight under it. That's game over. Okay. I mean, we'll try it one more time, of course. Because it seems like you may roll over into the next level with whatever lives and things you had left from the last one instead of it just refreshing from the top. So unless you do very well in the previous level, it seems like you'll uh, always have a bit of a handicap going from one level to the next. I am curious what level 2-5 is going to be like, because the last level of the first world obviously was quite different. It's pretty unique. So I wonder how they'll switch it up for, for level uh, 2 or world 2. GG, boys. <laughs> Why? What, what happened with that guy? Like, he didn't die when I hit him. He just, what, like, flew over me or whatever? That was weird. Okay, I, I get it. Gotta duck under things, jump over other things. Let's go get the train in here. Is it just me, or is this level hitching a little bit? I feel like it's a little jerky. Maybe the PS2 isn't loading assets quick enough or something. What? I jumped, man. Okay, that... was... not really fair. <laughs> You can die if you want. Like, I wouldn't mind it. You are a meanie. I'm just gonna hold the jump button. <laughs> Look, nobody gave me a silly license. That's the problem, okay? Nobody taught me how to run this thing. They just said, go for it. Hand him the keys and said, have fun, boy. I'm... <laughs> I love losing, like, three lives before I even get a single hit off on the dude. Four. Ah. Okay, just gotta just gotta get into a rhythm of charging and shooting and dying. And presents need delivered somehow. Are you trying to say this is Santa Claus? Is this how Santa does it every year? Killing aliens and giant cranes on a train. I'm very surprised I didn't die to that firebox. So a charge shot at least seems to kill the the, the, the lumps of coal or whatever they are. Alright, we got this this time. He's dead. Yeah! Alright. I'll be honest, I didn't even see that uh, thing in the way that time. The time before that I just died. You know what, whatever. It doesn't matter. Ah, just... <laughs> uh, no duck! Hey, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Just 
so much to keep track of on screen. And I'm not good at this. This game does not play to my strengths. I don't know what killed me. Was it a bullet? I don't see a health bar. Nah, he needed a break and things got weird. <laughs> That's how Santa takes a break. He joins the USSR. Him and uh, Miss Claude's got into a fight and he just went through a uh, rebellious phase there. Just Oh, I was supposed to jump onto the train. Oh. Okay. Ah, come on. Can I blow that up, please? Thank you. I didn't want it to blow up with, like, me on it or something. I'm going to keep falling off this train. I see it. Oh, my. Okay, we got two left. We can do this. I believe I can fly. I believe we can touch the sky. Please don't blow up fuel tanker with me on it. Come on, okay. Ooh, buddy. Will this hit the, nope, okay, it just blew up in my face. Okay, I'd like to get off the big explodey barrels. I don't think that meets OSHA code for the transportation of flammable materials. How does an ice gun blow up something that's flammable? Somebody want to explain that to me? Something about that doesn't feel right. I'm trying to go down. I guess I can't go through this. I guess jumped into the bullet because I am good gamer. Yes, fire! All shall burn. Not not by the barrels, though. I lied. <laughs> and just jump off the train. That's, that's what you do, man. Whenever things start going well for you, just jump off the train. Okay, this has got to be the final boss of the level, right? Oh, there's my there's my thing. My ship. So I'm guessing the last level is going to be the uh, another ship level. Don't jump into the jaws. Jaws bad. I mean, I'm assuming the jaws are going to come to me at some point, right? Because, like, otherwise just standing here the whole time gonna be fairly easy. Alright, well, you got me that time, but that's not game over, though, right? We got one more? Yeah! Let's go! Okay, that's right. Box. Can't shoot through the box. Gotta dodge the jaws. In Russia, OSHA meets vodka. <laughs> Look, man. What? No, I just... I just spawned in. I, I was fairly confident at first because, like, we were in a good rhythm. But now, all of a sudden, like, things aren't going my way. And I'm, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Send help. No, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, what if I just keep jumping? If I just keep jumping, everything will be fine, right? It's like Dory or, or whatever, right? You just gotta just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. As long as you keep jumping, nobody can hurt you. That's a that's a law of physics. I learned that in, in, in middle school. Look at that, B. What'd I tell you? Oh, I didn't die. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, so I mean this isn't a bad game, man. I'll probably um Return to it someday. <laughs> I don't know if I actually will. I, I like it enough to return to it someday, but with as many games as I plan on playing and as many games as I have and I'm currently playing through off stream and whatnot, I don't know if I'll actually get a return to it someday, but it's fun enough that I'd be willing to. And uh, 
since there's only like six levels left, I am somewhat tempted to, but like not right now. <laughs> maybe soon though. Maybe maybe this will be one of the ones we complete since it is so short. Um, I'm behind the curve. I am apparently bad at this game because the average completion time is two and a half hours. I've been playing for roughly two and uh, obviously haven't completed it yet. But you know what? It was fun. It was a good go. But thank you all for joining me tonight as I begin the journey here to collect and play every North American PlayStation 2 game. I hope you will continue to join me as I play more of them. Um, like I said, next up will... Uh... I don't know. Like I said, I was going to just say Arctic Thunder, because that's the next, like, uh, alphabetically that I have. But of course, we've had a couple requests from Nate here. Um, Jack and Daxter? And I don't think that's one that I have at the moment, no. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I'll, I'll, yeah, I think I want to play, um, whatchamacallit first. The... Fellowship of the Ring. But the Third Age, that would be separate from the other games, so I could maybe do that one. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Maybe try out Third Age. Um, Ratchet and Clank is another one that I'd really like to, but we'll see. We'll see. The Tack games. I forgot about the Tack games. Um, Tack and the Power of Juju and all of them. Those are another set of games that I would be interested in actually completing. Um, just just games from my childhood i didn't play them a whole whole lot to be honest but i i liked what i did lord of the ring or uzumaki chronicles no no you're good man uh yeah like i said lord of the rings maybe the third age um because i think that one's separate right from the other ones story-wise um and then i wouldn't mind doing naruto uh uzumaki chronicles so I'll try to remember that. If I don't, then uh, just remind me whenever I did the, uh, whenever I, I get ready to do the next stream or something, just yell at me. Cause uh, yeah, or no, I didn't finish that. I was marking it down on my list. I said that I finished it. No, just I streamed it though. That is true. But all right, yeah, so that's gonna be it for me tonight. Um, on stream here. Hopefully within the next couple of days, I'll do the next game uh, and I hope to see you all there. In the meantime, let me know if there's any games that you would like me to collect early or play from the list that is up over on the website, uh, justonemorepodcast.com. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Wait, wait, get over there, get over there, Kirby. Hammer! I'm not gonna use it in case it's a one-time ability. Ooh. 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 Okay, we got this. Save the hammer. It's not a one-time ability, that's perfect. Oh my god, we needed that one up so bad too. This is, this is great. It's the greatest thing ever. Is there a jumping attack? Yeah! Does it go all the way around? It does. That's awesome. I love it! Come on, one, 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 one! Oh yeah, just barely made it. But we're back up to almost five lives. And before boss just game overs us. But we're almost there. We almost there. Ooh, how many levels are in this one? I don't remember how many levels there usually are in them, but I feel like there wasn't five in the last one. Can I break you maybe with this awesome hammer? No. Okay. Uh. Oh my god, no! Oh. Goodbye, cool star power. Crash? What? Wait, that was that same ability that I got from that dude. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have kept it. Wait. Awesome. Uh, don't use the ability. Save it. Can I make it through here? I think I can make it through here without taking damage. 
The lag is real. Climb down. Yeah. We Gucci, y'all. We got this. That frog ain't got nothing on us. We the hops here. Wait, stop it. Stop it. What is this tower? It's like two towers in one, man. Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. Easy. Easy every time. I want to save this crash ability for the boss if I can handle not getting hit. Real question is, can I handle not getting hit, though? I'll tell you, I don't have much faith in myself. I mean, I believe... In